start with doing a sample testing in this session for a data warehouse model. The first phase. We will be doing testing on the first phase. Data loading. When the data is loaded into a stage environment, how testing is carried out. So for that, before going there, I want to uh, show you ETL mapping sheet. So this is the first thing you should have in hand, ETL mapping sheet. So this sheet will give the mapping details between source and target. This she sheet should be created, will be created by a lead tester or a business analyst and will be circulated to the tester, ETL tester. So what this sheet essentially contains, so this is a standard sheet which is uh, taken from Kimball group. I'll explain this sheet. So this is how the sheet is created in any of the ETL testing. Uh, this is called uh, ETL mapping sheet and this is very very important. This will give us which columns should be mapped to which columns, what are the new uh, ag, uh, direct source to direct columns, source to target columns and what are the derived columns, what are the columns to be ignored, what is the size of the column, what is the nature of the column, what is the data type of the column, maybe sample data if possible, everything will be there in the sheet, everything, everything will be there. The entire, every data element, every data element should be part of the sheet. If there is anything which is not part of sheet, then that will not be applicable for ETL, uh, for data warehouse. This sheet here is giving us information about DIM customer, table name. Table name is DIM customer. So remember data warehouse consists of dimensions and facts? Yeah, so this is dimension. Type is dimension, display name customer, database schema, DBO, if nothing is specified, what it contains, size. The type 2, here type 1 is seen, uh, this is a CD, uh, slow changing dimension, SCD, SCD type type 2. So we will discuss what is SCD. SCD is a very uh, prominent future of uh, uh, data warehouse applicable for dimensions applicable only for dimensions. So how we address uh, updations or deletions in uh, dimension. Uh, it's, it's a type 3 types, type 0, type 1 and type 2. So here essentially it is saying that it is type 2 is applicable. Okay, okay. So look at the script. So this is like the complete list of columns which are available in DIM customer table, dimension customer. So complete list of tables, columns, nature of column, surrogate key. This is a unique key in dimension. The definition of uh, data warehouse said it is integrated. For example, source A and source B may have different ways of identifying a product. But in data warehouse, there will be only a single way of identifying a product. Single way means there will be only one key which has everything uh, linked to it. So this is not the primary key which is used in OLTP database. This is surrogate key which is generated as part of a dimensional model. Uh, which is a unique key which will uniquely identify each row. This surrogate key will be part of fact table. Will be inserted in fact table which has facts. See then we have metadata, target and source. Source, where it is coming from. So it is coming from AW, 
means aw here is this is a sample of adventure works okay aw is a adventure work system uh, some of it is erp some of it is uh, web application okay uh, mostly in flat files data will be coming okay so source schema is sales uh, if we have schema information this is more of an uh, oltp database so the table is customer so that's why since it is an oltp database we will have a table name if it is coming from a, a file then we will have file name so usually uh, in a dimensional model we end up uh, having data from one or more tables or files so here see set a certain set of columns are coming from customer table certain are coming from contact table certain columns are coming from individual different schema different tables and their column names their appropriate column names and the data types this is source information source is vivid you have multiple source point, entry points and target you have uh, same table uh, single table different column names their metadata so you have to see whether metadata is properly mapped where care uh, here also where care if the size is 10 if it is only 8 here then we will have a problem data truncation may happen data loss may happen if it is 20 then we may unnecessarily having more space reserved nullable not nullable this information also should be is very important whether this column is nulls or allowed or not if we define a table a dimension of our column to allow nulls which shouldn't be a null value null, nullable customer id in, so in this schema it is allowing it is nullable is a, n means no if we say nothing then it is nullable then we may end up having blank values which can't be used anywhere else. So this uh, ETL mapping sheet is uh, prepared uh, much before even the ETL solution is created. So this is the use, uh, this is uh, circulated to both developer and tester. Tester for uh, testing the mappings, de de uh, de developer for uh, establishing the packages. So here you have to note that there could be some columns which may not be directly coming from uh, what uh, source like uh, see customer full name is a ETL rule there is ETL rule this is derived so the single name has nothing in source see has nothing in source pointing because this is derived from it in the ETL itself we'll be using more uh, one or more columns from the source and then getting it there when we have a derived column we will have logic for that in the same file or maybe in a supportive attached file so we have to look out whether that logic is implemented properly if we have technical knowledge SQL knowledge we'll directly go and open the ETL packages and test for it if not then we will do a reconciliation testing literally every column will be specified in this document these all are dimensions so date dimension is uh, one special kind of dimension which will not have any source directly coming see there is no source this is created in the database uh, in the ETL by the ETL itself so the columns will be like the last drill down will be day so the date table will have uh, let me show you the table directly So this will have like this uh, day of the week name day name of the week name of the day of the week then the month of the 
डे नेम ऑफ दैट मंथ ईयर फेशियल ईयर कैलेंडर ईयर ऑल दैट सो दिस मे बी टाइम डायमेंशनल सो इट वी बी ड्रिल डाउन टू एन हावर सो दिल हैव द क्वार्टर ऑल दैट इंफॉर्मेशन इन टाइम डायमेंशन सो दिस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द सोर्स दिस इज क्रिएटेड दिस ब्रिंग्स अ टाइम वेरिएशन इन अवर डेटा वेयर हाउस मॉडल दिस इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर पब्लिशिंग टाइम बेस्ड डेट बेस्ड एनालिटिक्स इन द फ्रंट एंड रिपोर्टिंग प्लेटफॉर्म एनालिटिकल प्लेटफॉर्म सो दिस इज अ मस्ट दिस हैज टू बी टेस्टेड वेदर ऑल द डेट्स आर कंसिडर एंड नॉट प्रॉपरली डज एवरीथिंग सो या with certain sql queries we can do the testing we will discuss all those sql queries so uh, as part of this uh, training i will be giving you that sql, SQL queries also which will be used for testing which are very handy so when you are doing real time testing also you can use the sql queries and perform testing effectively like so every dimension employee product name so let us do some facts orders orders is a fact so orders involves amounts so you see here uh, fk fk so foreign key this is actually surrogate key you'll have multiple surrogate keys sales representative currency insert audit so you see the dimension surrogate key coming from which dimension see dim currency dim employee dim audit dimension all this so so the fact has to be little carefully be looked at for mapping is because this will not only there uh, have a uh, uh, source information the entry points information but also the dimensions itself the same dimensions which are loaded earlier will be used again for populating fact so actually in a typical uh, uh, workflow first dimensions are loaded then fact is loaded when uh, etl is loading dimen uh, data warehouse so there will be derived columns there will be columns coming from dimension table there will be columns coming directly from the source source could be again flat files or excel files or rdbms systems themselves okay so this is a target mapping document which is very important document which is created at the time of uh, designing an etl and this is the first starting point for doing a etl testing so we will begin testing with cross checking all the mappings validating whether all the mappings are done properly with the proper meta type metadata definitions and calculator column logics calculator columns or derived columns or computed columns all are same okay so now that we understood the mapping document let's do a practical load test i mean uh, when a data from a uh, entry point is brought into a staging with an etl how we do it see so i have a source file which contains customer information a customer info dot psv psv stands for pipe separated values so i have a file like this which has customer information okay okay this so this will come along with mapping document yeah there would be a mapping document so i have certain rows certain columns good amount of data so this will be eventually loaded into a staging table okay what what is my staging table 
so in my example staging table is in uh, support database which is this which one which one which one which one employee info no not employee info customer info this is a table so it has certain columns so we have to first check whether all the columns are uh, properly created if you don't have application knowledge then it's no problem you can uh, anyways get uh, anytime get the script of the table so that will be there in the uh, source control so every organization will have a source control where the code is uh, checked in and once the code is checked in and released for testing uh, unless and until there is a bug without intimating tester uh, developer is not allowed to modify that code that's it so once the code is released for testing and if it uh, it should be placed in a source control source control maybe a team foundation server tfs uh, for microsoft or uh, any other tool there are many tools available in market so once the code is uh, placed there so the developer will not be allowed to do any changes without informing tester and without having a valid reason. Either there should be a bug or there should be a change request. So we can get code from there for creating a table or we can generate a script. This is the best way of testing. So now you will have more, much more control. So you will have all the columns, whether the column naming is done properly as per the mapping sheet and uh, as per the mapping sheet data types are declared properly as per the mapping sheet data lengths are defined properly nullable columns are addressed if there are any keys whether the keys are created if there are any primary key foreign key relations integrity principles are there that will also be uh, given in the mapping document itself so whether they are created integrity constants so whether all that are properly whether all of them are properly addressed or not okay so see here I have an identity column. Okay, so I am now establishing that all the columns which are there in the uh, mapping document are available in this table with appropriate naming, with appropriate data types, with appropriate, appropriate data lengths. Good, all of the columns are present. So metadata validation is over.